All right, now we're going to uh, turn to uh, a story of courage and daring. A Livington man's dramatic role in the capture of crucial code books from a German U-boat 70 years ago is being commemorated in a new exhibition. Yeah, David Baum was a 20-year-old sub-lieutenant when he recovered a treasure trove of documents that helped change the course of the war. Well, his remarkable story is told in an exhibition at Britain's former code-breaking centre at Bletchley Park near Milton Keynes. Steve Humphrey has been to meet him. He's now 90 years old, but David Balm still has the binoculars he took from a U-boat in the North Atlantic 70 years ago. Back in 1941, he went on board U-boat 110, which had been forced to the surface by depth charges. Inside, he found important code books and other documents. We had to find sacks, so mail bags, I think we found, and put everything in, the books, all the code books. And I think at one stage, one of your fellow sailors tapped you on the shoulder and said, there's something interesting down here. Yes, yes, I remember him saying that. And, uh, I, of course, it was the Enigma, the famous Enigma machine. The capture of the code books was a turning point in the battle against the German U-boats, which had been sinking hundreds of Allied ships. Using the documents discovered on U-110, and material captured elsewhere, the co-breakers here at Bletchley Park near Milton Keynes were soon deciphering German Navy messages. You can't say the capture of this particular U-boat changed the whole course of the war, but it certainly saved thousands of lives, and of course it probably did help the war come to a, a more speedy conclusion. It is a remarkable tale, and this new exhibition at Bletchley Park will introduce a new generation to the story of David Baum's role in one of the most important episodes of World War II. Still had dream about it sometimes, you know. It was the most frightening moment of my life going down that u boat. Steve Humphrey, BBC South Today. David Baum, and what an extraordinary story to tell. It really was the uh, turning the tide of well, the Second World War. One of the great War. stories of the Second World War. Uh, without yeah. a shadow of a doubt. Uh,